is going on YouTube. It is Cubs360 here, and I've got a easy cap setup tutorial. Now, um, I'm just going to start off. This is recording for my HTC One X. So, hi guys. And so, pretty much, yeah, I will show you how it's done. Now, what you want to do is you want to have your easy cap. So, uh, can I turn on? Alright, you want to have your easy cap. Um, I've got an extension cord for it, but, uh, this is the, uh, where is the easy cap? Easy, this is the easy cap right here. As you can see, it got the flash on. Now, I'm using an S video. So, because I, I, the only reason I can see the actual thing on the TV is because I'm using the S video cable. And the S video cable is connected to the actual thing, the S video and the sound, which goes into the easy cap, just as a computer. So, as you can see, it's yellow, but it's not plugged into anything. And if you can see at the back, the video, just that that little yellow one by itself there, that's the um, the one Xbox one that I can see on here. So don't plug the audio into there. I just plug down to AV so I can still see on the TV, just in case. So what you want to do is you want to get your easy cap and make sure all that's plugged in. So S video is plugged into S video, red to red, white to white. Um, ignore all those other cables, that's just some other shit. And then... Get your easy cap, and you want to oh shit, 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 yeah. Oh, one sec guys, I just want to say plug this in. I put an extension cord, so I plug my extension cord into my easy cap, as you can see, it's right here, and you just plug into the side of your computer. And then now, I will probably take it to the computer side. So you guys, I might as well do a quick setup, here's my games, all that shit. Um, so yeah, now we're going to the actual computer, so let's do a double quick check, all that's in. Um, red to red, white to white, this is for S video. If you're using com composite, like yellow, white, red, plug yellow to yellow, white to white, red to red, and then you just plug, and then yeah, that's it. But you won't be able to see it on the TV. So if you guys get that, just let's go over it again, and now we're going to the computer. Okay, YouTube. Um, we are now on the uh, the actual um, the actual recording side of things. So what you pretty much want to do is you look at your virtual dog. But as you can see, it's come up. What you want to do is want to make this overlay. When you go to capture pin, actually no, you don't get you don't go there. Her video capture filter. Set this to NTSC four double three. For you, it might be power 60, but I'm in Australia and I've to use NTSC 4 double 3. I don't know why, but I just do. Even though I have a PAL Xbox, I don't know how that works. But yeah, that needs to be like that. So that's overlay levels. Oh, make sure you're recording it compressed. Please go and find DivX, go download it. And when you do, it'll come up here, make it the 1080 HD profile. Um, set this to as far back as possible to the speed part and make this 10,000 kbps and press ok and it will record compressed so you don't have this fucking massive file that it just looks absolutely terrible so what you want to do is and then you want to set your capture file and save it in desktop which I'll call it I'll call it uh, easy cap test and that's it and then um, settings yeah you guys don't need to that's, you don't need to oh make sure um oh make sure that zero line and also to fix your audio um what you want to do is you want to right click go recording devices a lot of the times the audio in the easy cap is really retarded so you want to do is i think you go to line or one of them one of those lines and then you go you come here to advanced and then normally this is sets of 44,100 hertz which is CD quality, that, and then you get this absolutely terrible noise. Change it to forty-eight thousand. All right, I repeat, forty-eight thousand, and then it'll fix it, and everything will be fine. Then that'll all be good. That's your audio fix for the day. So um, yeah, I mean, I already said that in another video. So yeah, then what you want to do is you want to um, hit F five or go capture and capture video, and it'll pretty much start capturing. Um, by the way, while it's capturing, I might as well show you this now. Oh, uh, don't go preferences. Preferences. You might want to go to system settings and go console settings and video and change it to widescreen. Oh, I'm pointing at it, but you can't even see. You go widescreen and it just looks a lot better. So I'm using S video at the moment. You guys might be using composite, but either way, it all looks good, right? So yeah, that's recorded. Um, 
let's go to video or some crap. Let's go to video, my video apps. Um, video player. See if there's something on. Uh, let's see if there's anything on my computer. It uses. It's got to be something. Um, here that. Oh, here's something. Here's something from ages ago. Let's just play this. Oh, this is streaming, by the way, so they look pretty shit. Oh crap, that's a copyrighted music song, but yeah. So that's all good, pretty much. So yeah, and then once you're done, you just press escape and it'll stop the capture. And what you want to do now is, um, you're pretty much done. If you're done capturing, you can capture your gameplay or whatever. Then you go exit capture mode. Then, then what you do is you bring in your clip. So here it is, easy cap test. Um, put it into your thing. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to go filters, um, add filter, and then you're going to want to deinterlace it already, just press OK, it removes any of those lines, and then the next one you want to do is go to, oh, you can add motion blur if you want, but I, that's what I was doing before, but I was, then I was thinking about it, I was like, nah, but you want to add sharpen, and then just make like 20 something, and just press OK, and add, and resize it. And resize um, compute by computer ratio 16 to 9, 16 to 9, and change that to 1280, and then change to 720 the other one. And that's all good. And yeah, then it will come up like a big screen right there. Um, it'll be looking all fine. I'm not sure if my comp if my virtual dub was frozen. No, it's not. Oh yeah, because it's playing. That's right. Never mind. And then you want to go to compression again because it's gonna um, do it compre um, uncompressed. So there is it, compression, control P, yeah. And change it to DivX again. Configure 1080 HD, 10,000 kilobytes per second. That's all you need to do. Make sure it's 10,000 though, because that's a big factor. And you want to go OK and blah, blah, blah. And now I will render this. Save as This shouldn't take too long, actually. Uh, save as that. Oh, fire out. Um, Cold. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long, actually. Actually, screw it. Actually, so this board it. So what you'll do is you'll render yours, all right? You guys will render it, and that will all be fine. And then you want to open up Sony Vegas. Sony, want to open up Sony Vegas? I'll bring in any clip that I just haven't rendered out fully, properly. Oh shit! Let me check this out. Um, oh, this is taking longer than I expected. And it's going new. Fuck that. Yes. Um, HDV 12A. Yeah. Save all that, so I gotta be quick. Oh, can't, I, my laptop is really slow, guys. I'm sorry for that. Now, just bring in a clip that I, um, that hasn't been, um, oh, hold on, one second. Yes, I, I am, guys, I am back. What you pretty much missed out on, well, I had to pick up the phone, and I, when I recorded this before, it screwed up. But what I've done pretty much so far is, I pretty much, I've put the clip in, I put in the clip into Vegas. Um, make sure these are your properties. 1280 by 720, 29 frames, best, all that crap. And then you want to add some seat color correction and go color correct on just copy this. Just change it to whatever you want to make it look. Just change it to whatever like the map is like. So you need to add colors that are necessary. So for this, I need to, to need it to add a bit more yellow because the, the weren't enough warm colors. So yeah, so pretty much after you do that and just do your own stuff in Vegas here. That's not really what's important. Then you want to go render as. This is what's the most important bit. Unfortunately for me, I don't have the MP4 codec on this laptop. I have it on my computer, my normal computer, but I don't have it on the laptop. But anyway, what you will do is you'll get it, just download the MP4 codec. You need to download it somewhere, just Google it, you'll find it. It's, it's pretty easy to find. And you want to go custom. I think on I think on the computer it's twenty four million. Twenty four. Hold on. I'll double, check, double check. It's like twenty four million to twelve million, and then it's variable bit rate, so not constant. And that'll make it look all good and shit like that. And make sure that's best. If you don't want to render it as an MP four, then you could render it as an AVI. Um, so go video for Windows. Um, I already have a full thing. And you just go custom 920 by 1080, 29 frames, DivX, those settings I showed you before with the 10,000. You should already know that by now. And yeah, oh, 
And on the MP4 codec, you might not know, but it'll say at the bottom, you need to um, click render with CPU only. If you have a problem with rendering MP4s, render, make sure you click the option that says render with CPU only. You need to do that if, you, if you're having problems. So after that, all you do is render and you're done. So thank you for watching. I will put, um, what's it called? Uh, this, like, quality examples in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.